Hey, um, I'm making this way, like, in the middle of the night, so, like, th this intro is gonna be in the night. Uh, today I'm going to be, I guess, re reviewing or just telling you about stories or what pads I've read and how good they are. Well, basically to me. So, yeah, that's it. Um, just a quick note, I will, n I do not know how long this video will be. Um, I do know this probably gonna take like over like 10 minutes because there's a lot of good stories and I'm only going to be reviewing stories I have completed. So, but I will mention stories that I have not completed yet, but I am reading. And, uh, and at the, like, how to explain this? I will, I will first do stories I've completed. The second, second, uh, the second half part of the video will be stories I haven't completed fully yet. But, uh, I'm getting there. Uh, and then lastly are stories I have not read yet. So, that's basically it. Uh, other than that, then, uh, I'm, let's start with it. So, I'm gonna, like, cut my audio here and go back. So, yeah. First, we have Sleeping Deities. Deities, oh my god. Okay, this story was actually super goddamn good. It's basically, uh, like, from the description... Phil gets a visit from uh, twin gods of love and war, propelling uh, him into a path he cannot turn back from. And to be honest, this is such a good story. Um, it's, it reminds me of another story, which is uh, I have not read fully of, but I will get I will talk about because it's absolutely a wonderful story. But, uh, oh my god, it, this is such a good story. I'm going to put it on the screen uh like what time you should go to if you don't want to hear like anything at all about the story and just go right ahead in but this is basically a whole entire rundown of how i felt throughout the story when without giving spoilers in a way so yeah that's basically it uh, i'm gonna cut real quick so yeah okay so from my point like from my opinion this story is absolutely amazing it's a short story with only, like, you can see seven parts in it. It only takes about, like, an hour to read. And I am actually, like, mad that this doesn't have more reads. Because it's such a goddamn good story. And, like, it, it, it was made a while ago. But, like, it's such a good story. Um, basically, the fast rundown is Phil, your point of view. He, what is basically, uh cursed to be a wanderer of the earth and he meets two twins love and war wilbur and techno and let me a little spoiler you do not hear anything about tommy but that's okay because this story even though it's only seven parts long it is such a good story and they literally only to introduce like fully like five characters but it's still such a good story like it has such it has such good writing uh, it's something that, like, makes you, like, question reality, but it has such good wisdom in it, if you, if you know what that means. But, uh, that's basically the Hunter Rundown, and I'm gonna go on to the next, uh, book. I mean, not book, I mean, one pad. Next is You Belong With Me, and it's a Dream Not Found, uh, uh, what pad. And to be honest, this is such a good one. And if you are thinking of the song by Taylor Swift, uh, Taylor Swift, You Belong With Me, that is basically it, what happens in the story. Uh, and ba instead of it being made by Taylor Swift, uh, George wrote it. But like, that's um, actually a huge spoiler what happens at the end. I'm so sorry. Uh, but it, this is such a good story. It has, it's a lot, it's like, the chapter's a lot shorter. So even though there's 17 parts, so that's why it's just, a little bit longer than uh the past what pad but this is like literally such a good one uh what what would i say about okay how to explain this you can literally just i'll read out the description for people who can't read it i guess sorry or my uh my blind viewers george has uh has had a crush on the star football player Your dream why did I say George for a second? His old best friend, Dream, has a girlfriend. His old best friend, Dream, has a girlfriend. The two start talking again. Will his, their friendship become something else? Okay, I actually read that right. Anyway, uh, even though this was this person's first fanfic from what they stated, it's such a good one. 
uh, there isn't that much I can talk about unless you want to read it yourself. Uh, it, it's just absolutely amazing. And I'm going to just head off to the next wet pad. So, yeah. Th these are the my two newer ones, too, anyway. Just wanted to state that out. These are the my two newer ones I recently just read. So, I'm going to update this, like, soon, anyway. Because I'm about to read two more, so. Yep. Going on to the old ones. I'm speed reading all these, so yeah. Hello is basically uh, where Tommy, Techno, and Phil meet Ghostbird in the attic. And uh, it's basically a very short story. It only yeah, it takes like 15 minutes, really six parts. It's completed. And it basically they find Ghostbird in the attic, and it's actually it has a really good twist at the end, so yeah. It's really good. 5 out of 10. And we kidnapped by the enemy, it's completed too. Um, it's It's good. Some things, the end doesn't, it makes, the end makes sense, but at the same time, oh yeah, I just moved, the end makes sense, but at the same time it doesn't, uh, I kind of like it, it's from Tommy's point of view, so, well, it's from Tommy's point of view most of the time, uh, other than that, it's, other, other than that, it's from, like, Junie's point of view, and stuff like that, uh, also, like, you'll see all, uh, if you, like, pause the video, you can see all of, like, the people who made it, like, uh, so, uh, other than that, uh, what is, in the story, it's, it's kind of long too, so, yeah, it's not that, it's, it's longer, so, uh, Boo, oh my god, yeah, this one is super good, it's basically Tobo, Tobo, uh, f like, uh, taking this, uh, going to this graveyard, and, like, uh, basically talks to the gravestones, and then a fox, which is supposed to be Fundy, uh, meets Tubbo, and from then on, uh, he meets the ghost of Tommy, Wilbur, Techno, and uh, Phil. I will not spoil how they meet, and I won't spoil what happens to it. And it's just a very, very good story. I absolutely love it, cause like, oh my God, it's such, it's it's such a good story. Like, yeah, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm just fangirling about the story so much. Uh, I'm gonna pause real quick, cause I need to adjust some of the. Uh, just some things on a with editing so be right back okay i'm back and now i'm gonna speed this up uh to be a hero is basically a uh yeah like an sbi fantasy iu there's characters that are not in there like tubbo uh oh what's it called uh nikki uh quackity and stuff in it it's such a good story it's basically about tommy and tubbo uh T Tommy's a square, which is like a young knight, and Tubbo's like a young mage, and they meet, they basically go around, uh, doing magic and stuff. So read it to find out. Uh, your journal is yeah a DNF fanfic. <laughs> it's very good. Uh, oh my God, what's it about again? Uh, oh you know it's okay. It's literally the the fanfic is actually a journal that uh George writes. So like that's what uh wait. Uh, I think so. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, that's pretty sure what that is. It is. So, I'm pretty sure that's what it's about. I forgot for a second, so, yeah, read it. Uh, this fanfic, oh my god, it's one, okay, it's my, one, my favorite SBI, uh, uh, Superboy's Inc. Uh, it's fanfic, and even though, uh, it's one of my first, it is all, it was gonna be my favorite. I really like it. And, uh, it's basically, yeah, basically Tommy is... Uh, just a regular fox hunter. Yeah, uh, I did actually, I did not realize that he was a regular fox hi uh, hybrid pup. But uh, other than that, uh, I really like the writing. So, I love it. Uh, Storm, uh, I'm pretty sure that is, uh, oh my god, what is it about again? It's about, oh yeah, no, okay, it's George and, uh, Dream, the George and Dream, uh, fanfic too. But, uh, where, uh, uh, Sapnap, uh, is bullying George, and Dream likes George, and George likes Dream, and all this crap happens, and, spoiler alert, someone does end up, out of all the characters, the one character does end up dying, so, that's a little spoiler, uh, Lavender is basically, uh, where, it's another DNF fanfic, where, uh, George, 
uh, is lives in an abusive household of his abusive father and his poor mother. Uh, and uh, what's it called? Uh, he then runs away onto the beach and Dream then finds George and he brings him to uh, where he's living with Sapnap. And George and Sapnap are in each other because they usually game with each other a lot. So that's basically it. And uh, it's really good. Uh, other than that, uh, what is this story again? Oh my god. Uh, we'll see in a, we'll see in a quick minute then. I'm pretty sure this is sto- this story is about, uh, it's a very, no. Oh yeah, 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 I know what this story is about. This story is like, of like four chapters long. And, uh, it's basically Tommy ends up like, yeah, swimming in lava and dying. And he ends up meeting Tubbo again. And things happen. It's very, very short. It's like a uh, one. It's like a, a one shot, uh, a, a webtoon. But it's it's literally the only, like it's the only story. In it. So it's really good. Uh, I really like it. It's it's very short, but I still like it. And uh, going on to the next one. Uh, do not be fooled by the uh, by the uh, what do you call it? the picture. Yeah, do not be fooled by the picture or the drawing. It actually has nothing... It does have, like, the dream team in it. However, the point of view is not any of them. It's uh, the point of view of Tommy. And basically, Tommy... Uh, okay, everyone has powers in this uh, AU. This is basically AU with advanced powers. I'm pretty sure Tommy, basically the main character, uh, has the power of the dead where he can rise the dead. And Turbo has super strength, I think. I've forgotten because they haven't updated in a while. But, uh, yeah. Uh, other than that, it's really good. Tommy has a secret father and stuff like that. So, uh, there's a reason why, too, I like it. Uh, this is, uh, oh my god. Uh, it's either. I forgot the name, but you're gonna literally see in a second. So, uh, this is one I know it's about, but I totally forgot the name for a second. You're about to see it. Anyway. This is about uh, when, where Tommy is a kid who acts out and lives in an abusive household and basically acts out and he ends up getting a tutor named Phil. And things go uphill from then. Phil ends up saving Tommy. Uh, I'm put, actually, I have no idea. I have no idea what happens to it because uh, it's not updated yet. But I'm guessing he ends up saving Tommy. But other than that, it's basically Tommy just becoming friends with a lot of people uh i like saying like he had helped wilba and techno and wilba used to be like a psycho and he helped him like years ago and stuff like that and they all respect phil and and phil in this i use like 17 and tom was like what 14 okay oh we can be heroes this story is is written so god dang beautifully however i want to i want there's a warning if you are reading stories that are that uh do you want to read stories that are very short do not read this because i'm on like chapter what four five i've no i've i've forgotten i'm definitely less than 10 or uh, definitely less than 15 however this these this is so god dang long each chapter is so yeah it literally takes six hours to read it all if you're all, if you're gonna read it all in a day, it takes six hours, about almost a school day. So this is very, very long. Uh, it has twenty five. Even though it has twenty five parts, it usually only takes like what an hour. But yeah, anyway. Uh, never whole again. It's basically a IU where either Tommy is. I think actually I've totally forgotten what this is. Uh, never whole again. Uh, wait, wait one second. I totally forgot if Tommy's in this anyone. Uh, which one this is again? Uh, oh yeah, okay. I know this. Uh, Tommy is a prince, and it's from the point of perspective of uh Tommy, Wilba, and more, and uh Tommy, uh the queen, whose Phil's wife takes Tommy, and they leave, and etc. and soda. And yeah, there's basically a lot of characters in it that you'd want to see. Uh, honeymoon is uh, basically the uh, the uh, part two of 
uh, my god, what's the part two of, it's part two of something, uh, wait, wait, let me, uh, okay, it's the part two of, uh, I totally forgot, I'm so sorry, it's the part two, wait, let me, let me start with it, uh, right here, and I'll, uh, be back, okay, uh, first of all, I want to say sorry, uh, I am now back, I just want to say, do not read this before, uh, before you read a uh, common sense uh common sense not found it's the part one basically uh part one of uh the series and this is basically the last like spinoff of it so uh uh just remember that go uh, if you were to read if you're gonna read this go on this person's account and uh find uh a common sense not found because it's the part one of it so and that's basically about uh where george and dream end up dating and stuff so, yeah, and this one's about uh, uh, Sapnop and Carl starting to date. So that's it. And yeah. Uh, thank you for listening. And uh, all of the just uh, all of these are just basically rundowns of what pad stories you should uh read. Most of them, the ones I said like I absolutely loved, I'd give a five out of five. And then the ones like eh, I kind of liked uh were like all three out of fives. Uh, I probably will make a part two of all the stories that I have not completed. I think all of these stories are all ones I've completed, and but there are some that I have not completed. Uh, I will make a part two of this one day of think stories I have I even haven't read yet, and uh, stories that I have uh, I am in the middle of. So uh, thank you and goodbye.